Hey everyone, it's Carla, Carla Lynn Hall from Marie Lizzo. How is everyone? Today is Friday, it's uh, the night of Venus, and it is um, new moon, new moon in Aquarius. So I, you guys probably know that I have a new love spell course going on. You know, I'm taking advantage of my new uh, wedding, my new uh, marriage energy, my happy love honeymoon energy to work on love spells. So if you wanna check that out, my link is in the bio. Or uh, you can check, you can go to queenupclub.com slash love and check out my love spell course. It's free. Hey, Jasmine, how you doing? Hey, I see you. <laughs> so I want to talk a little bit today about one of the things that you need that you should think about before you have, uh, before you do your love spell. You know, if you're going to do a love spell, um, I feel like there are like three important things you need to have. And and I did a live last week when I talked about love spell fails. So the, spell, the spells that in my life totally failed. And they usually fail because of one of three things. So uh, those three things were, were like self-love. You have to work on that self-love piece. Um, discernment, meaning you need to know what looks like love and what's not love. And you also need to have clarity. Clarity is like, what is love to you? What does love look like? You know, you have to be really clear about it so you know it when you find it. So today I want to talk about clarity and how important that is when it comes to, you know, when it comes to finding love or doing a love spell. You really don't want to have a love spell when you don't really want to do a love spell if you're not really sure and and i don't when i say being sure i'm not talking about i'm sure i want that particular person i'm sure you do <laughs> but there's so many things that we do not know about life so we have to be clear about the kind of relationship that we want the kind of qualities that we need in our partner the kind of qualities that we want in a relationship we need to be clear on those things and as I mentioned in my in my love spell fail video, when I was focused on this one guy and I was focused on him and trying to do all these different kind of spells to get him, I, I it just things were not working the way I wanted. But then I made a shift to focus on what are the kind of qualities that I wanted, what kind of man do I want, what kind of relationship, what is I what do I want that to look like? And when I made that shift and I started really focusing on those qualities, someone else showed up. And then I had to say to myself, well, I said I wanted this kind of relationship. I know that I really, really want this guy. I really want, you know, guy number A, guy number one, you know, who was already in my life. But when guy number two showed up, offering all these wonderful qualities that I said that I wanted, I had a decision to make. So I want to talk a little bit today about clarity and the clarity that is important to have in order to have a successful you know love spell so you have to be clear on what you want so um, I was talking with my husband earlier today and we're like you know what is love and and he we were talking earlier today about laughing until you fart and then you fart and you laugh some more because it's so funny and farting is a really kind of intimate thing and it sounds almost a little bit TMI and, and I get that but there's something about being with another person to the to the point where you it's not like this isn't just about farting just to be gross around each other. This is about like you're not trying to fart, you just kind of do and but you know that you are so close with this other person that you are you have a level of intimacy that a, a mere fart is not going to make that person run away. A fart is just going to be like, "Oh, okay, he's human, she's human. We're just doing our thing." So there's a level of intimacy that comes when you're able to have that kind of, uh, well, okay, we won't talk about farts too long, but I'm just saying to have that kind of in intimacy, to have those kind of moments, that is really important. Um, for my birthday, I ended up spending it in urgent care because my husband had bronchitis, you know, and I really, I'm sure there's other things we could have been doing, but love also means I have to be here for them, for him, you know, and, and, and the relationship and, and his health, those things are really important to me. So it could be also you, when you're feeling sick, when you're not feeling well, do you want someone who's going to be there for you? Someone who's going to uh, take you home to meet their family? Like that's, the, that's one of those things that we don't necessarily think about in the moment when we're like, I just want this woman or I just want this guy. How public is this person like if you're thinking like there's something uh, someone specific that you're going for how 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 
how open is this person with their love for you? You know, is this something like a situationship where no one knows anything that's going on between the two of you, but just the two of you? Or is this something where you've met his or her good friends or their family? Like, have they taken you home for holidays? Like, these kind of things are really important. And you need to think about that when you're thinking about, okay, this is the kind of relationship that I want to have in my life. Um, are you looking for someone who does grand gestures? You want someone who does the big flowers and and uh, you know and roses and a big dinner for those special occasions? Is that something that you need? Or you just want someone who gives you more simple pleasures? Um, these are different things that are really important for us to think about before we think about doing that love spell. So I also wanna talk a little bit about the five love languages. So there's this book called five love languages and it's by this guy i believe his name is gary chapman and he talks about how we all have different ways or at least five main ways that we express our love but it also means that when we're seeing someone when we're in love or in a relationship with someone we also have to be mindful of what their love language is because if they don't express something in the way that you feel like love you're not you'll never feel love so for example uh, words of affirmation, that's the, that's the first one. That means like telling someone, I love you. I, I feel a certain kind of way about you or thank you for doing that for me. I really appreciate when you do that. Oh, you look so nice. Like you need to hear words of affirmation. Number two, gifts. Some people love to get gifts. You know, they like to get flowers or they like their, their honey to, you know, give them a little surprises and, or, you know, or buy them things when they go to the store gifts some people you know really love gifts and that might be you there's and, and by the way none of these are better or worse than, than the others or then there's, there's no judgment here it's about realizing what is important to you so another uh, love language is act of service so that means doing things for for your partners so for example um your partner might wash your car or take it to get washed or um they might clean up your house <laughs> or something they might do a favor for you that involves doing some kind of service or maybe uh there's somewhere that you need you want them to go with you or on your behalf and they will do that for you because they care about you and, and it's an act of service and some people really like to do that kind of thing and then for quality time i know this is one of mine quality time is like the kind of time that you spend together do you like to spend time just hanging out um, or, you know, if, if that person like works a lot and you don't see them as much, you might be, you might, you might not feel, you know, as close to them. Like you feel closer to them when you're spending time together, quality time. And five, the last one is physical touch. So that means someone who is affectionate and someone who likes to touch you and, you know, maybe just in passing or someone who's affectionate and gives you hugs. So all of these different ways of expressing love are very important. But say, for example, say for you, words, ah, yeah, Jasmine says quality time is one of mine as well. Exactly. And if you're not sure, like, which one is more important to you than the others, think about which ones you would miss the most. Because I think I, think I love all of these things, but if uh, when I was dating someone years ago who was a musician and he traveled all the time, I hated that because he was on tour and I wanted him here with me. I didn't want to be waiting for him to get off tour or, you know, calling long distance. Remember back in the day, long distance? So y'all might be too young for that. Anyway, um, quality time was important to me. But like if say you are someone who wants to hear the words, I love you. And, and I, I need you, I care about you. That might be really important to you, but say you're dating someone, you're seeing someone who they never say that, but maybe they might like to wash your car or they'll, uh, they might give you gifts. Like, you know, I know, I know this, some people like to give lots of gifts, but they'll never tell you to your face, I love you. So when those, when you have like that, that disconnect between love languages, one of you has to make a decision. You have to decide, okay, well, I know that this is important to me. Therefore I have to, I have to understand that this is the kind of person I need. I need a relationship that is going to give me, 
I, I want someone who's going to give me gifts. I want someone who's going to be there to spend time with me. I want someone who's going to say, I love you. It's like, you have to know yourself. So like before you do your love spells, it's really important to be clear on what you need. Like, it's not just like, well, I, I want to be in a relationship and, or I want to get married this year. I want to meet my soulmate. That's all well and good, but you really need to know what do you need? Like be really clear on that and be discerning. It's okay to be discerning. It's okay to say no. Like, well, you know what? This guy, this woman, you know, she's really nice, but she is dedicated to her career. She spends all her time traveling and that's not really what I want. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know, or, or you saying, you know what? I really like this, this guy, but he's not affectionate at all. He doesn't like to kiss like, <sighs> heaven forbid, but that happens. It happens when we sometimes get ourselves in relationships with people who aren't necessarily the best choice for us, but maybe, you know, we have sex and the sex is great. And then we're like, oh my God, oh, you know, and, and we make compromises. So I'm really just wanting to talk today about helping you to think about clarity. Oh, by the way, so yeah, so I have my Love Spell course and I'm offering that and you can check that out at queenupclub.com slash love. It's a five part course and I give like three different spells and I also talk a lot about the foundation work. And that's really what I'm talking about tonight. Before you do your Love Spell, be clear on what it is that you need in the relationship. So it's not enough to just say, I want a relationship. Think about what kind of relationship. Do you want someone who is going to adore you? You want someone who is going to cook for you? Someone who wants to make breakfast for you? Someone who wants to take you on trips? Someone, you know, and also be thinking about what are you willing to offer? Are you willing to spend, you know, is this someone that you love enough that you're like, okay, well, it's my birthday, but we're gonna be in urgent care and oh well, you know, I really was cool with it because, well, you know, he's my man. I'm happy to be with him and I just wanted him to be okay. But there are, there are people in relationships and I know of them. I'm not mentioning any names, but I know of people who are with people who don't really give them that kind of quality time. They don't wanna share. And if you're sick, you're on your own. You're like, mm, oh, sorry, well, you know, I had plans, so I I'll see you later. And it's so sad when I think about people who compromise, who accept less than they deserve, who accept less than, than they're supposed to have. Love is for everyone. And I feel, I believe and truly believe this, that there is a lid for every pot. So if you wanna create love in your life and you wanna do your love spell, please do it. But do not focus on one particular person. Focus on the kind of relationship you want, the kind of quality of relationship you want. And then that way, when, you're, when your love spell is successful, you will be so much happier because you are getting what you need. And sometimes we just don't know what is on the other side of that specific person. We'll be like, I want that guy. I know we're supposed to be together. And then you go, okay, yeah, poor connection. So I'm gonna wrap this up. So um, I just wanna say, take the time, know thyself, know who you are and know what you need and accept nothing less. Okay, so that's, that's just like a, a bare bones mundane uh, lesson on preparing yourself to do a love spell. If you wanna go deeper, check out my course at queenupclub.com slash love. That's queenupclub.com slash love. I'm so excited for you guys to come and check out my, my love spell course. And I want to hear how, uh, you know, how, how you guys are, or ha, 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 how you guys are enjoying love because it's, it's meant to be enjoyed. So anyway, I'm Carla and I will see you later on IG. Bye. <laughs>